most people in life are looking for how to make a life worth living in retirement having. When I'm sitting outside, not loitering, actually working for my living, I find it fascinating that overnight, in the very few hours that I close my eyes tight, whether it be four or five hours, which is my standard in life, that my property is basically opened up and played with. It's also very important that these people who are participating in providing information on people in the community recognize that they are aiding and abetting a rape. The rape of a person while they're sleeping is still considered rape. And if you don't understand what rape is, it means sexually inappropriate touch that is not welcomed, requested, or given permission. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And there are people in families, and people in communities and total strangers that feel they have rights to touch people in the night. They never do. They like to play games as if they have rights. They have no rights other than what they will have when they go to prison for aiding and abetting someone else's sins. You see, you might think you're clever, you might think that you're better, but what you're going to find out is that when you do things to people's food, when you interfere with people's lives, when you take on someone else's issues as if you have the right, you're going to be facing two conditions. You'll be facing the laws of America that says that people have human rights to not be abused. That is a standard in our Constitution, a standard in the Declaration of Human Rights, and a standard across the nation in most people's minds. That is a social, societal standard. So when you violate that standard, what happens to you? When you interfere with someone's lawful records, when you make phone calls against people that you think are somehow a hamper to your life, you are looking at a serious situation that you are liable for your call. There is a form of abuse called litigation abuse. It is something that siblings, relatives, strangers, police officers, sheriff, like to use. It's under the guise of gaslighting, of let's just pester the shit out of this person until they go off and do something unwise. Most people who've gone through some form of sexual assault or rape are pretty angry about it. Only a handful will handle it in a positive way. Most people that provided information where someone is when they're in the witness protection program usually end up dead or in jail. You see, this is what police officers play with. They play with your stupidity about the law, they play with your naivety about the world, and they play with you because if they play with you, then they can take your property, your goods, and your land, perhaps of which you have a house upon. If you don't own a house at this time and you're in your 50s or almost 60s, I question where you plan to live in your retirement. At some point, everyone times out of their work. Everyone times out of their job and everyone has to go on in life. But the players in the communities like to lie, steal and cheat people out of their privacy rights, out of their medical rights, out of their spirituality rights, out of their religious rights, out of their financial rights, out of their records rights, and people like that do this from families.